Welcome to Grow with Angie. I'm Angie, and today we're going to be doing a fall harvest, but not a fall harvest outside, a fall harvest inside. I have always been honest with you. I will continue to be honest with you. I am still dealing with aphids. Now, if you have an indoor hydroponic system, it doesn't matter what kind, what pre-setup kit that you might be using or a DIY, it doesn't matter. Bugs can happen. Don't make the mistake like I did when I got my first unit almost a year ago in October. I brought a bunch of plants from outside on my deck inside I really brought in bugs and introduced them to the hydroponic systems and haven't been able to get rid of them. This unit over here doesn't have a bug problem and it's just because of the types of plants that I have. My basil and my parsley and my onions, they don't care. The peppers, the kale, they love it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is taking everything down, showing you how to wash your plants with a bug and water mixture in your sink to try and save them. But the green pepper plants are going to go. They are totally, totally infested beyond what I even want to try and fix at this point. I also have a little project going in the middle, which is my sweet potato vines, trying to get them to flower. It's just something I've been experimenting with. And those are probably gonna get taken down and moved downstairs to my office and my YouTube studio. Let me show you a close up of what I'm dealing with with the bugs. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a fall decoration and show you how you can decorate your units for every holiday. So if you stick around, you can let me know what you think about how they turned out with a little decor. All right, let's get started. This is one of my jalapeno plants, and you can see we're growing jalapenos, so I'm not ready to get rid of this plant just yet, but you can see there are some bugs on this plant, and I have other baby ones going at different stages, so we have different harvest time. They also are getting some bugs right down in there. So we're gonna do a wash on these to try and save them. My green pepper plants have produced quite a bit of green pepper already, and I have already harvested them all off. They are so covered. Um, I really don't want to play around with this anymore. Then the kale is really, really struggling. You can see some of the yellow. I have sprayed them a lot, trying to keep the bugs down and they are just infested. So we're going to try and wash these, maybe save them, but I might have to start over with those, sadly. You can see I sprayed the unit the last two nights and then turned on a fan. And this is everything that has fallen and died from the bug spray and the fan. So we're gonna have to wipe all of this up, clean it all up as well. I apologize if my back is turned to you a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and just take you along. We'll see what happens. Because these plants are so large, I'm not going to try and just yank them out with the net cup. So we're gonna go ahead, trim it down, which I really, this kills me. Um, there are so many flowers still on these. And then I'm going to put them in a trash bag. Just like if you're cleaning your house uh, for lice for your kids, we're going to make sure that they are kind of suffocated down inside of a bag. And these are really big, great plants. So it does give you an idea that peppers can be grown, but I haven't seen the top of my unit in a very long time and sometimes change is good. We just need to do it. But the bugs love the tops of plants. They like to be really high, and because these plants were so high, I couldn't really see up there anymore, and I couldn't control it. And this is absolutely disgusting. It is so covered in bugs. Oh, it's just maddening and sad. And I can see some of the white flies trying to fly away from me. 
Now in some of my other videos, I talked about tying these down and I still have those ties and I'm just gonna cut those out as well. And that helps kind of hold them and guide them where you want them to be. And that's really a strong base right there. So we'll leave that. And then I should be able to pull this out. And there's the root. Now the root is not super long on these because I was getting up underneath the holes and, and trimming them. Here's another string that's kind of wound in there. Get that one out. And my last one I'm gonna cut here as well with the string. And I should be able to spin this one around, get those little clips out of there. That root actually does not look good. This is kind of what a root rot would look like if you can see how dark that is. Now I have just a disgusting mess on the top. This is an extra grow light or grow bar that I use. And it's when my plants get really tall. So this one will probably be moved downstairs if I'm gonna move the sweet potatoes downstairs. I'll use that light. You can also see some of my covers. What I'm doing temporarily is just taking a net cup and then covering it with tin foil. And that just blocks the light. The only thing that I have found with a problem with this versus the other pod covers is that if it is underneath a plant that has a lot of root, the root will go through your net cup. You'll just wanna pull these out every once in a while and make sure that they're clean of any root. Now I'm gonna go through some of the other plants and kind of see what's going on and determine if we need to save them or not. I also have towels on the floor just so if there is any dripping, but my unit stopped a little while ago, so it shouldn't kick back on anytime soon. And that's a really healthy root. Now when you're running your timer on your pump, I like 15 minutes on and 45 minutes off. That one again has a really good rut. So we're gonna lay that one down and wash it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these plants and then I'll meet you over at the sink. Now we're at the sink and I have it a third full of cool water. So it's gonna be like they just got a rain. And I'm going to use my Eco Garden which I have recommended in other videos. This is said to be organic, but if you have any allergies or you're sensitive to things, then I might recommend using gloves. But I just squirted up enough for the sink and I'm gonna stir this in and it will turn a foggy white color. And I'm gonna use one sink to dunk the plants and the other sink to move them over. So I'm gonna start with some of my little jalapeno pepper plants and I'm just gonna give them a wash. If you wanna pull the reflective covers off now, you can do that as well. Actually, I might just soak those in there. And I'm just gonna dunk and do a little rinse. I'm just gonna tell our plants that it's raining. They're gonna be fine. Uh, you can even get the rapid rooter right in there if you'd like. In case there's any bugs living in that rapid rooter, it's gonna soak that up. But we're not gonna remove it from the nut cup because I don't want to disturb any of these roots. And I can see a few little bugs floating around, but this one doesn't look like it was too bad. And then just kind of check your leaves and make sure there's nothing still on there. Give it a little shake and set it off to the side. Whew, and we had quite a few bugs come off of that one. Poor little guy. And next we'll do the really big jalapeno. I'm actually gonna make sure that the roots get in this as well. This Eco Garden, you can make this water mixture and water any of your house plants. But again, I recommend no house plants, no dirt, no anything around your hydroponics. And we're gonna go ahead and give this one a dip and see what happens. And I can see another little jalapeno right there. Just gently swoosh it around in the water. Shake it off. And yeah, there were quite a few bugs on that one because they 
are floating in the water. And I found another pepper. So I've got uh, three peppers going on. Oh, there's another one. So I have four peppers going. So it's kind of fun to pick these up and, and look at them upside down because you're gonna see things you might not normally have seen. And then let's try a kale. So this is a kale plant that I wanted to save. It does have a couple of leaves on the bottom I'm just gonna pull off. And we'll go ahead and give this one a good dip, rinse those roots off. And if you have enough water in your sink, they're just gonna float. So you shouldn't be damaging the plants at all. And this is not the first time I've done this with uh, dipping. I had a bug on me. And you're just gonna wanna check and make sure that you have all the bugs off. And that leaf is totally infested and they're not coming off, so I'm yanking it right off. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk all of these, wash all of these, and even my cilantro that I pulled out, we're gonna do those as well. Then I'm going to wash up these net cups and this root was really stuck in there, so I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to really work at getting this one out, but still saving my cup and my clips. With the power of editing, I've saved you a few hours of letting the unit dry out, uh, hopefully getting rid of the bugs, getting the plants back in, and trimming back all of the basil. <laughs> Look at my basil. Uh, we're not gonna worry about the basil plants being trimmed back. They grow so fast. It's just, this is just crazy. I'm gonna do a video soon of different things that you can do with your basil. As you can see, I have decorated, and I'd love you to leave me a comment below if you are as crazy as me and you decorate your hydroponic units. But when they're living in your house with you and your company for the holidays, it's a little nice tip and trick to decorate. And it was a sad day to cut down some plants, but there was a harvest. It happens. I'm always gonna be honest, like I said, about my journey. Now that we're going into fall, into winter, and really outside gardening is done, but I'm gonna keep going all winter long and you can join me or if you're doing hydroponics, join the community, leave me comments below, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you always know when a new video is posted. More to come soon with that basil.